Hey guys, Justin here from Lucky Camera Straps. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to choose the perfect size camera strap for you and your camera. We make a pretty big range of camera straps, all sorts of sizes and widths. The first thing you need to decide when choosing a camera strap is whether you prefer a shoulder strap or a wrist strap. Some people prefer just a wrist strap when carrying their camera to keep the strap completely out of the way while shooting. A wrist strap is a really great option to have some safety and security while you're shooting, but without having the camera strap ever get in the way of what you're doing. If you decide a shoulder strap is what you're after, the first step is actually figuring out what length is best for you, which is dependent on how tall you are, but also how you like to carry your camera. All of the shoulder straps in our range come in two lengths that are the same across the board, regular length and long length. Our regular length straps are adjustable between 104 and 117 centimetres long, whereas our long length straps are adjustable between 129 centimetres and 142 centimetres long. Regular length straps are best for people that are under about 165 centimetres, whereas long length are better for people that are over about 165 centimetres. This rough guideline is based on carrying the camera across your body, which is how ours are designed and what we find is most comfortable for long days carrying a camera but we know that some people still prefer to carry on one shoulder or around their neck. And if you carry on one shoulder or around your neck, it's best to size down and maybe choose the regular length strap, even if you are taller. If you've got broad shoulders or are often shooting with big winter jackets on, I'd recommend sizing up your strap to make it easier to pull it up to your eye for shooting. Okay, so now that you've chosen the right length, this is the fun part. This is where you choose the best camera strap to suit your camera. The Fuji X100 is a great, compact, lightweight camera. It only weighs 438 grams. If I had to recommend you the ideal strap for the X100, it would be this simple 20. I'm 180 centimeters tall, so I would use the long length so that it could sit down at my hip while I'm walking around. But we do still have the regular length, and in this model, we actually have a short length as well, which makes it ideal for carrying around your neck. The simple 20 is also available in a wrist strap too. Some photographers use the Slim 30 with the X100, which is perfectly fine, and I've even seen plenty of simple 40s. I think the standard 53 would be too big for this camera. Next up, we've got the Nikon Z6, which is a mirrorless body with a 24 to 70 f4 kit lens on it, and it weighs 1168 grams. This is a pretty common size camera nowadays, similar to the Canon EOS R, EOS R5, and the Sony A7 range. These are a tricky camera because they can have heavy lenses on them, but for this, for example, I would recommend the Slim 30, maybe the Simple 40. They're probably the two best options for this camera and you could go either way, it's really personal preference. All right, next up, we've got the Canon 5D Mark II. Classic camera with a 17 to 40 F4, pretty light lens, really. Um, total weight, 1406 grams. For something like this, um, and obviously maybe using various lenses on it, while you could pretty much use any of these camera straps, I would recommend the Simple 40 or the Standard 53. Um, Standard 53 definitely if you're going to be using heavier lenses. A similar size camera but with a different setup, we've got the D780 with a Tamron 24 to 70 2.8 and a flash on the camera. That weighs in at 2,374 grams. For something like this, shooting events, I would definitely recommend a standard 53. It's going to give you the most comfort while you're carrying it for hours. And finally, we've got a gripped D850 with 7200 2.8. This thing weighs in at 2972 grams. You would definitely want to be using the standard 53 for the most comfort. But that being said, I've actually used the Simple 40 with a camera like this a lot because I like the style of that strap. The Slim 30 or Simple 20 can handle one of these cameras, they are definitely strong enough. They just won't give you as much comfort as the standard 53 will. I hope that's given you some idea of the best way to choose a camera strap for you and your setup. If you have any questions at all, head to our website and contact us, send me an email, and I'll get back to you personally with any questions you might have.